equations reducible to the linear form or what we call it as a Bernoulli's equation. To study about this one, let us start with an example first. Solve dy by dx minus y tan x is equal to minus y square sec x. Is this any form of the linear differential equation that we studied? Let's see. The dependent variable we know here is y and the differential coefficient is dy by dx. Are they multiplied each other? No. And is it of the order 1? Yes. So these two conditions are satisfied. That means it should be a linear differential equation. But there comes a problem. Look at the right side. It is equal to minus y square sec x. That means the right side should only contain terms of x or it should be a constant. But you have sec x. That is fine. Totally fine. But there is a minus y square. Is that minus y square acceptable on the RHS? No. Because we studied in dy by dx plus py is equal to q in this form, the p and q should be in terms of x or it should be constants. Here, q is okay, seek x, but minus y square, it is not in terms of x. So, it is certainly not in the form it should be. So, what we can do? And now, we can see on the arches, there is a minus y square extra there. So, how can you remove this minus y square? So, to remove the minus y square, can we divide the whole equation by that minus y square? Yes. So, divide that and what do you get? Minus 1 by y square dy by dx and minus y tan x will become plus 1 by y tan x is equal to sec x. So, now what we have done here is we have eliminated that minus y square from the arches. So it's completely gone. Now is the given equation in the form of a linear differential one? No, because you have minus 1 by y square dy by dx, 1 by y. So these are not making it a linear differential form. So how to make it a linear differential form? What we can do here is, look, 1 by y and here minus 1 by y square. So, 1 by y and minus 1 by y square. Is the derivative of 1 by y minus 1 by y square? Yes. So, what I am going to do here is, I am going to substitute 1 by y is equal to a new variable t and minus 1 by y square dy by dx is equal to dt by dx. So, what I did is, after substituting 1 by y is equal to t, I took the derivative with respect to x and I got minus 1 by y square dy by dx is equal to dt by dx. So, can I write here minus 1 by y square dy by dx as dt by dx? Yes. Plus 1 by y tan x. 1 by y is now t. So, t into tan x is equal to sec x. Now, look here. Is this in the form of a linear differential equation? Yes. Because the dependent variable is now t, the differential coefficient is dt by dx, not multiplied each other, order 1. So, it is surely a linear differential equation. How to solve it? To solve a linear differential equation, we have studied two different cases and in that two different cases, we need to first find out the integrating factor. So, look here, what is the integrating factor? The integrating factor is e raised to integral tan x. Here the x term is tan x dx. And what is the integral of tan x? It is e raised to log mod sec x. And what is e raised to log mod sec x? It is simply mod sec x. So, the integrating factor for this differential equation in terms of t and x is sec x. After we got the integrating factor, we can put it back into the formula that we have studied. That is, it is y into integrating factor is equal to q integral q into integrating factor dx. But here it is not y. In place of y, we have a t. So, it is t into integrating factor is equal to integral of q into integrating factor dx. And what is the t value? 
t itself here. Integrating factor is mod sec x is equal to integral q. q is sec x here. sec x into sec x will give you integral sec square x dx. And what is integral sec square x dx? It is nothing but tan x plus c. Now can we write t is equal to 1 by y because we have substituted 1 by y is equal to t. So we can write sec x by y is equal to tan x plus c. And now we have got the solution for the given differential equation. It is not directly in a linear differential form, but we have converted or reduced that into a linear differential form. And now these kinds of equations, which is in this way, can be called by the name Bernoulli's equation. And in more generally, we can write a Bernoulli's equation as dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x into y raised to n. If the equation is in this form, then we can say it is called as Bernoulli's equation. And such Bernoulli's equation is solved in this manner that we have just discussed right now.